One thing I like about PaintShop Pro Photo X2 is that it's not all business. PaintShop Pro Photo has a lot of fun things you can do to your photographs besides all the usual fixes and adjustments. For example, you can apply any of dozens of built-in special effects or Photoshop compatible plugins. Make your photo look vintage by choosing one of the several classic photographic styles. Place your finished photo into a picture frame or use what Corel calls picture tubes to decorate your photos. In this tutorial, I'm going to concentrate on the picture tubes and the picture frames. Let's see how these work. Let's begin with picture frames. You can add picture frames to your images to provide an eye-catching final touch. You can choose square or oval frames, modern or classic frames, mats or photo edges, or a variety of other styles. The frame is applied on a separate layer which can be edited like any other layer separately. To start, open a photo in the main window and go to Image, Picture Frame. I'll slowly scroll through the generous collection that comes with PaintShop Pro Photo so maybe you can get some ideas for your photos. With this Hawaiian photo, I'll try the transparent choice near the bottom. Let's see what a more classic frame looks like. Excellent choice as well. With this wintry photo I took in Lake Tahoe, let's use an appropriate frame like this one. Or this one. You can also choose this one and create a postcard-like image. Something like this. On this photo of the snow-covered beach chairs, let's add two frames instead of one. In the frame library, let's actually narrow our choices by using this drop-down. One of the categories you'll notice is a collection you get when you purchase or upgrade to PaintShop Pro Photo X2 Ultimate. Let's first add a photo edge. Click OK, return to picture frames, and now if you like, add a snowflake frame where you, again you can add text like we did before. Or let's try something different, perhaps this metal frame here. Very cool effects. You also have several options for settings in the frames area, including putting your frame inside or outside the photo and several other choices. Try them out and see what works best for you. One other thing you might try is adding a vintage effect before you frame a photo. Here's an example of that. Go to Effects, Photo Effects, Time Machine. This is a unique place in that you can actually mimic photographic eras and learn about them at the same time down here. You can even apply a photo edge specifically made for each era. Not bad, huh? Okay, let me show you picture tubes. You can use the picture tube tool to paint with a collection of objects. For example, you can add butterflies and beetles to a picnic setting or frame a picture with flowers. You can use one of the picture tubes included with PaintShop Pro Photo or even create your own. But I'll save creating your own picture tubes for a future tutorial. So bring up a photo you want to decorate and choose the picture tube tool. What's cool about picture tubes in PaintShop Pro Photo is that each collection has several variations, so you're not just spraying the exact same item. So of course, your first thing you want to do is choose a tube from the large collection we have here. And again, I got a lot of these when I upgraded to PaintShop Pro Photo Ultimate. I'm going to choose Autumn Leaves. And here are the settings we can choose from. Scale determines the percentage from 10% to 250% for reducing or enlarging each image in the tube. I usually start at 100% and adjust from there. Step determines the size in pixels between 1 and 100 between the centers of each tube cell that you paint. To help you out, just remember that on a PC there are roughly 100 pixels per inch. So, leaving both at 100 will spray one image at full size every inch. Placement mode determines how the images are placed. 
choose continuous to space the images evenly by step size or choose random to place the images randomly with intervals ranging from one pixel to the actual step size. Selection determines how images are selected from within the tube. Remember, all the built-in tubes have many different images within each one. Random, of course, selects the images randomly. Incremental selects images in the order from the setup in the actual tube itself. Angular selects images based on the direction you drag. Pressure selects images based on the pressure you apply using a pressure-sensitive tablet, such as the one from our friends at Wacom. And Velocity selects images based on the speed with which you drag. You can also just click the mouse where you would like to apply individual picture tubes, instead of just clicking and dragging. Here's another example just clicking and dragging and you can see my settings above well thanks again for joining us and we'll see you in a future paint shop pro photo tutorial